and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge Round 2 of the Elite Four. Now, if you recall, in the last episode, we had a bit of a tragedy. Big X, Xylia, went down hard. This is a tragedy on many levels. Uh, for one, Xylia was a wonderful Lapras. And two, uh, the remaining two members of the Elite Four, I was pretty much just going to use Xylia to fight. Um... We have dragon and water. Xylia is part ice. Could have totally rocked those dragons. Also, as a water type who couldn't be hit by water moves, pretty good poke to fight the water guy because she also had Thunderbolt, but it's okay. <sighs> so, we have adjusted our strategy as best we can. Um, my plan is to fight Cybold, the water type user, first. Uh, and we're going to lead with Big D here. Big Davin. So, I've made one minor adjustment to him in that I have uh, switched his item from the Silver Powder to the Big Root. The Big Root increases the damage of moves that are life-stealing, which Horn Leech is, and conveniently is Grass-type, which will be super effective. I think it's the only real super effective thing we have against them, which is why I'm uh, wanting to use it. So... <clears throat> My strategy here is either we can go in and just immediately start Horn Legion stuff. That seems like it would probably be pretty effective. Because, I mean, it's power 75 and it's got the big root on it now. And it'll keep us healthy because it'll be replenishing our health. However, alternate option, just as a fail safe, is use Geomancy on turn one. Geomancy is a weird move. It takes two turns. It's a power-up move that takes two turns. But what you get is plus two special defense, plus two special attack, plus two to speed. At which point, we're basically a walking bomb of destructive power. Because you'll notice our special attack and special defense already through the freaking roof. Uh, as is just our regular attack. So... You become pretty indestructible at that point. The only weird caveat there is that it does nothing for our attack, which um, is what Horn Leech uses. That's just it's just a special attack. However, we could just switch to Moonblast. We're pretty much there anyway. You know what I mean? Like, this is nothing to scoff at. Um, so there's that. Plus, we'll just be safer. So the question is, can we take two hits? The only other thing to be concerned about is that he leads with like some clauncher dude, big water cannon guy, and it has some ability that improves the like the the power of all like cannon and or pulse based moves, and that's like exclusively what he has, of course. So, and it's it's like it's like a lot. It's like, um, like plus like fifty percent damage, which is a lot. Uh, but it, I think, he, I think he is mostly, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he only has special attacks and as you can see our special defense, pretty good. So to Geomancy or to not, I feel like we can take two shots, right? Possibly only one if we're faster to begin with. That's the real, that's the real question. If we're faster to begin with, we only have to take one shot. And then we can start horn leeching, and that's pretty much the whole fight. Slash moon blasting. Anyway, I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to Geomancy on round one. And we might even need to employ that strategy for the next fight. However, mm, well, we'll get to that when we get to that. It's a trickier fight. The dragons, as you might expect. I think this is Cybold's chamber. The water chamber. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. We're not ready for this one. Well, hopefully we are ready for it, but... You? Is it this one? Where do we go? Nope, we must have already done that. And that one looks sealed. It must be in here. We figured it out. We're not getting lost. Flood chamber. All right. All right. Other potential backups we need to be looking for are, well, um, Fatterhorn, as ever, good good defensive switch in look at this gaudy throne room of the Kalos elite four god they just make me so mad uh cyborg once upon a time 
I would have told you he was the worst, one of the worst Elite Four members of any region. And today I am concerned about him, though. Look at this. How much water are you wasting, bro? Ugh, anyway. Here we go. Let's see if Davin... If, if, if not, if not the legendary Pokemon of Kalos, then... Then who? Am I right? No, I simply can't say. All right, nice outfit. You, that young man, I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called an art? Yes, indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as it's completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. Oh, so you had, they immediately were like, well, what about memories? Or videotape or something like that. He's like, is cooking an art? Yeah. If you're comparing it to cooking, then yes, it's an art. Are you like a, supposed to be a chef? Is that your theme? Are you wearing an apron? Is that okay? So, this thing, yeah. The question is, can we take a shot from this dude? I think so. All right, we have to commit. We have fairy aura. We're committing to the geomancy. Here we go. Hold. Hold. Okay, we are already faster. Stay. So as long as he doesn't knock us out right here or confuse us, God willing. Water pulse. Geomancy. Okay, so we got the boost. Now we're definitely not going to die to water pulse, but will we get the old confusion? If you confuse me, I'm using a full restore. That's happening right away. You did not... That is your downfall. Horn Leech. Do it. One shot him. It's not going to matter. The... Oh, yeah. Now we're still going to have to worry about the confusion, though. Don't confuse me. Do not confuse me. A crit. Oh, and there it is. There's the confusion. I knew it was coming. Well, we're not going to deal with it. Simply no reason to. I don't see any reason to. I don't want to be confused. We're just going to heal right now. Maybe he'll heal. No, he's not going to. Snapped out of confusion. That's right. Water pulse. If you do it again. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Of course, as soon as we got it, he got a crit. And it's like, Ugh. crits ignore any stat boost. BT dubs, in case you're wondering. Horn leech that fool right in his dumb face. Sorry, big claw man. You dead. Mm-hmm. And we got some life back. Mm-hmm. 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 There we go. Oh, he's got a Gyarados. Oh, he's got Intimidate. So that's actually going to hurt our Horn Leech. Now, I'm almost curious to try a Moonblast to see if it, in fact... Like, is our Moonblast just so much stronger that we should be doing it instead? Let's go for it. We've got the... We've got the Fairy Aura. We've got the Geomancy boost. We're the frickin' legendary Pokemon. We're gonna sweep this dude. That was amazing. Well done, Davin. Far back up. Now this thing, however, we should probably switch back because it's rock and water, right? Horn leech it. If we don't one hit KO this thing. Which we didn't. Man, that feels so stupid. That's okay, he's not gonna one hit KO us. not no damage we may as well leech some life back we're definitely going to oh i see well this actually works out because now we're just going to take as much life but we're going to get all of our life back now that works out oh i was like why was it so much better <sighs> because it was a crit well done davin well done kaboom 66 what okay we're making short work of Cybolt here. I think he just says yes. Big star. Big star. All right. Let's go straight for the Moon Blast. No need to be cute about it. Smash that jewel on its face. And just like that, he's down. He's down. Oh. I need not be concerned. Mighty Davin is not defeatable. I shall store my memory of you and your Pokemon forever away with my heart. But was it art? But was it art? Does it count? Maybe. It's like food. Once you eat it, it's gone. You can't have this Pokemon battle and eat it too, as they say. 
Which will fade and disappear as ingrained forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. There is only cause for winning your Pokemon League banquet. Okay, do you see? I think the issue with Pokemon is that the very nature of being, like, really good at battling means that you have a voice in the Pokemon community, and it doesn't necessarily mean you're a sane human. Everyone who's really good at battling in Pokemon seems to have really also heavy-handed philosophy that they're just spouting. Because they're like, people will listen to me, and I've got nothing to do but sit in my watery throne room and think thoughts about cooking and Pokemon battles. Hmm. Okay. So. That was much easier. That was the easiest fight we've had thus far. Might have even been easier to do it that way than if we just had Xylia rest in peace. So. Now. Hmm. The question is. The problem is. I would love to just walk into the next chamber and do the exact same thing. However, onlyest of hiccups is her first Pokemon is designed to stop that exact same thing. So it is a dragon poison type called Dragalgae. It is kind of like swamp themed, so it'll probably have water attacks as well. So I don't think Clovio would be good. I don't even think Duong would be good. I think our best bet is to lead with Big Fat. Big Fatterhorn. And try and get a paralysis on that thing. And kind of go from there. We have Xerxen, who can probably resist most of the attacks i mean we'll see i don't want to i don't want to have to rely on that um it's not like davin can't do damage we still have mega horn and horn leech but they're not like super effective against dragon or poison that's the thing we're not we're not really equipped for good poison types um so and we don't really do we have i guess at the very least, the Xerxen have Bulldoze, yeah. So we still have that. Hmm, would it be worth, hold on, hold on, giving Fatterhorn Bulldoze right now? We'd have to get rid of Giga Impact, but honestly, it hasn't super come up. And I feel like not having Bulldoze has been a bigger deal like, we could have used it on many occasions. I think I'm going to do that. Bulldoze. Mm-hmm. Because I'd also slow it down. Yeah. It was, I think, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, let's do this. Sorry, Giga Impact. We're already strong enough, you know. Fatterhorn is amazing. Bulldoze. Okay. Last minute miss... It's not a mistake. Last minute maneuver. Hopefully it wasn't a last minute mistake. Here we go. Let's bulldoze that thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this one's nerve wracking though. Dragon types. So really, once we get through the first Pokemon, then we can switch to Davin and it's a cakewalk. <laughs> it's really just the drag allergy we have to work out, watch out for. And I'm going to be really bummed if it has, like, Levitate. That's going to be lame. Because it's definitely Dragon Poison. So its ability is going to have to be Levitate to avoid Ground-type moves. And if it is, I'm going to be very annoyed that we're going to have wasted our opening move on it. Here we go. Oh, goodness. Hello to you. Welcome, welcome. Come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That's wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team. Oh, my Pokemon grow like weeds. What? Everyone always says the best Pokemon are like weeds. You're challenged by Elite Four Drasna. Drug algae. Yep, here it is. With the bigger obstacles. Look at it. Menacing. All right. Now, it does look like it's floating above the ground, but does it have Levitate? Because otherwise, it's about to get bulldozed. Sludge Bomb. Okay, don't poison us. That would be annoying. Oh, it does not. Okay, good. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I'm a big fan of how that worked out. Mm-hmm. And we heal some. 
Okay, so. I almost want to... Okay, let me know if you think this makes sense. If we bulldoze it again, she's just going to straight up go for a full restore. But we're going to have to deal with that. If we power up punch, that will likely do... Not kill it, but not put it in full restore range either. And then the next bulldoze should do it. No problem. Right? Let's go for that. Oh, we're already faster. Very nice. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Our attack is up. As long as we don't get poisoned. Which we did not. That's good. Okay. This thing is going down. This thing is going down. Bulldoze. Because this should be stronger now because of the attack boost. And dead. Oh, just like that. Whew, I've been I've been nervous about that drug allergy. Like the whole game. <laughs> and of course, Fatterhorn just destroyed it. Destroyed it. Well done, Fatterhorn. You demand. Oh, I'm pretty happy about our decision to switch to the Bulldoze. Mmm. The Drudagon. <sighs> okay. In the cave, the Drudagons had fighting type attacks. If I recall. We're gonna switch, we're gonna pull our switch to Davin. Hopefully it goes for a dragon type move right away. And it does nothing. Let's see, Fairy Aura, nice. Revenge. Oh, embarrassing. Okay. I don't even know if we need to go for the Geomancy. I think we can just start Moon Blasting. This almost guarantee victory, right? Though, so like, why wouldn't I? Because then I have to wait two turns. I don't know what kind of weird trick she might have. If we can just take them out without even letting them attack. Hmm, let's see. I think we're gonna, let's just go for the moon blast and see how it does. I'm thinking this is going to just one-shot it. And I'm right. There we go. Drudagon, down. Davin with the low... No, not levels. Altaria. Okay. See, this is the sort of weird situation, because this thing is going to have, like, really heavy special defense, and now we're going to have to deal with... This probably won't kill it. That's why we should have gone for the Geomancy. Except I'm wrong, and... Davin is amazing. And if that didn't survive a new a moon blast neither will this the only real thing here is if it has like some sort of confusion type attack because it's probably faster than us oh super fang well that's not no damage it's half but you can't win with super fang yes it's a good opening move though if you have like nothing else that can like do damage because it always does half of your remaining life so that's cool. Well, look at that. We did it. Elite four down. Man, I can't believe how much easier those two were than the first two. Because I really thought those two were going to be the obstacles. Oh, hi. Whoops. You have beaten the Elite Four. This is just wonderful for you. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh. Man, okay, okay, okay. Well, you guys, we have but one fight left. One final fight against the champion. Will we be victorious and become the champions and complete this Nuzlocke challenge? Tune in next week or next time. Maybe not next week, just next time to find out. I think we got this though. I think we got this. It's going to be fun. You guys have stuck with me the whole time, and I'm excited to see how it all ends next time we take on the champion. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Leave all of your support for the team in the title section down below. And until then... Bye.